What up, everybody? Faith and Fishing back again. Uh, about to see if I can catch a little, little bass out here real quick. Um, I'm about to fish with a fluke. I always use a fluke or a trick worm or a lizard weightless. Um, about to throw a tube. I got a swim bait, of course, I always keep. And I have a, I got a crawl on the bottom. And I have, can't remember the last thing I put on there. What else I put on there? Um... I can't even remember what was the last one I put on there. Um, but nonetheless, oh, a shaky head, that's it. So I'm about to go out there. And one thing about fishing is that when the temperatures change, you got to change what you do. In the summer, fish everywhere. They moving fast. So you can present fast baits. But when you get to the fall time, the temperatures start to drop, the water starts to cool, so the fish become lethargic. So what you got to do, you got to adapt to the conditions. And that's going to bring about adversity. And so our word for today is adversity. Fishing is just like life. There's going to be adversity. Everything is not going to go the way you want it. You're not going to walk up to the pond bank and see the fish and say, Ooh, there they go. Let me just drop my lure right there and catch them. Life is not like that either. There are some things you're going to want in life. Joy, peace, love, stability, a sound mind, healthy body. But you ain't going to walk outside and just look up and say, Hey, there it is. Let me grab this joy. Hey, there's a sound mind. Let me grab this sound mind. No, it's going to be some adversity to get what you want. And so when you when you live life, you got to think about that. There will be adverse times. Um, one of the things I, I was thinking about doing was like Daniel, three Hebrew boys, um, Joseph. They were put in adverse situations. But you know what they didn't do? They didn't wait until they got into the adverse situations to show they believed in God. They were ready for the fire. No, nobody wants that to come to them. They were ready for it. So what we got to do, we got to prepare for the adverse situations. When I look out here in this water, I see sticks everywhere. I see leaves everywhere that I got to try to dodge so my base won't get caught up. Um, I, I, I see uh, brush, bushes. I got to prepare for those. So I brought baits, lures that's going to help me to overcome those. You got to have faith, man. Faith is a belief in God. That God can and God will. Hebrews 11, 6 says, Without faith, it is impossible to please him. For they that come to God must believe that he is, and he is a rewarder of them that diligently. See, we missed that part. Diligently. Diligently seek him. Not one day out of six, out of seven. Not one hour out of 24. But diligently. Constantly going. I'm seeking God in everything I do. I'm seeking God in my prayers. I'm seeking God in my reading. I'm seeking God in my worship. I'm seeking God in my uh, uh, fatherhood. I'm seeking God as a, as a husband. I'm seeking God a, as an employee. Every aspect of my life. Because without faith, it is impossible to please him. So adversity. That's the word of the day. Adversity. There will be adverse times. I read this morning where Paul talked about uh, uh, in the book, I think it's 2 Corinthians 12, if I'm not mistaken. Well, he talked about the thorn in the flesh and how he wanted it to be removed. And God told him, no, nah, I don't I don't need to remove it because my strength, my power shows up in your weakness. It shows up in your weakness. See, if we could do it all by ourselves. We wouldn't need God. But God allows us to go through adverse times so he could show his power to us and show us that we don't have to try to do it by ourselves. And I thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to see that I don't have to depend on me to go through this life because I fail. I fall short. I don't always get it right. And when adverse times come, I got to stop trying to do it myself and rely on the one who can do it for me. He is able. He is sufficient. And he told Paul, don't worry. My, my, my grace is sufficient for you. And Paul said, I, I would glory. I, I would rather glory in my infirmities. Because I know that the strength of Christ is resting upon me. And that's what we got to do. It's going to be adverse times. Look, I, 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 had, I really didn't plan on uh, staying this long on the video. I meant to go do some fishing. But um, I, I thought about a situation that happened last night with RJ. RJ is an excellent soccer player. But one thing RJ lacks, he lacks confidence. I, yes, he lacks confidence. Me, I don't lack it at all. But RJ... He lacks confidence. So one, one of the things that uh, happened last night was while they were playing soccer, and he's great at it. The other team was pushing him around. The refs, he said they were not calling anything. And he uh, basically uh, was, was, was about to give up. I saw him at halftime. He talked to him. 
tears welled up in his little eyes. I felt sorry for my boy. But you know what I didn't do? I didn't say, uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. They're going to start treating you right. No, I told him, man, life is like that. Things are not going to always go your way. You can't make the referees call. You can't stop the other team from talking trash. You know what you can do? Get out there and play your game. That's what you can do. Get out there and play your game. You're going to have adverse times in your life. Go play your game. They end up winning 3-2. One of his goals was the winning goal or near the winning goal. He had another kick. He kicked it into the goalie. The goalie missed it. Uh, bounced off the goalie. Bounced to the, one of his teammates. His teammates kicked it in. Just do what you do. Adverse times are going to come. But you got to be ready for it. So let me see if I can catch something real quick uh, while I'm out here. Uh, Gene Archer just pulled up, so you might hear me talking to him in the background. But remember, the word of the day is adversity and that God can. All right, let me get up. I sat down on this hill. Now I can't get up. So let me let me see. I always throw my. So let, let, let me let me see what I got here. Right there. That, that, that's my fluke. That's what I throw right there. So I'm gonna see what I can get. And this is what I do. I just sit out here and enjoy the breeze. And enjoy the majesty of God while I wait for one of these to bite. Peaceful. Time to think, time to reflect. Whenever I come out here to this pond, I always come to this spot first because I've missed about three or four big fish out here. Um, almost to the point where I stopped fishing because I missed two big ones in less than 10 minutes. And I almost just stopped, just, just gave up on fishing forever. So I come here to see if I can get them. I haven't caught a five pound out of here and a four pound out of here in the same spot. So I'll post those pictures. That was years ago. So I'm trying to see if I can grab the other ones out of here. Fishing. But I sure catch peace. If I don't catch nothing else, I catch peace. Let me try this tube. I ain't never tried a tube out here. We're gonna see what's gonna happen with it. So it's just a, about a four inch tube. I got it rigged. Oh, come back here. I got it rigged. Wacky rig. The way I got it. Not wacky rig. Uh, Texas style. Where the hook is in the body. So it should be weedless. So. Uh, like I said, I don't always catch. But if I catch something later on, I'll make sure to post it and let you see it. Right now, I'm just going back to Old Faithful. Just the old, oh, just the old crawfish. See what we can do with it real quick. 